Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I would like to uh, speak about a very known verse from all over the uh, world. People know that verse. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. I just would like to remind you when Yeshua spoke that verse. He was speaking that verse to one of the Jewish ruling member, Nicodemus, who came to him by night because he seen what Yeshua was doing. And uh, when he came by night to Yeshua, Yeshua looked at that religious person and he told him right away i tell you the truth that no one can see the kingdom of god unless he is born again so he went right to the root of the problem because you see the god of abraham isaac and jacob doesn't send person to be religious to be involved and in be religious he called everybody through his son to be born from above because we all spiritual death. Uh, because, uh, in uh, epistles of Ephesians, we have a verse which a, a former Pharisee was uh, writing to Ephesian church that while you were dead in your sin, God made you alive. Through death of his son, by grace you were saved, through faith. Mm-hmm. And this is another, uh, uh, that was in, uh, was speaking uh, basically to Nicodemus. That you must, to, must be born again, Yeshua told him. He went right to the root, to Het Kadmon, to the, uh, to the beginning where all the human beings start. We, st- uh, when, uh, we, we are sinners because we are sinners from the beginning. From the time when uh, the sin entered the garden through Adam and Eve, that sin reigned through the human race. And the only way out from that curse, which was on human race, is through the provision which God, who created heaven and earth, provided through the coming of his son. And this is what something Yeshua was dealing with Pharisee. He said, you from below, ma from above. Amen. And uh, you can, I will uh, go, but you cannot follow me because where I'm going, you cannot come. Because you don't believe in whom who sent me. Because uh, I'm in my father one. And he's been dealing with them, uh, with those religious people. As we can see, uh, being religious doesn't help. Going to church doesn't help. He was talking about, uh, to, again with them, that uh, the only way to heaven is through the spiritual rebirth. Where I go, you cannot come. And I told you that you would die in your sin if you don't believe that I am the one I claim to be. You will indeed die in your sins. He was saying to very religious people, Pharisees, who were uh, just um, bombarding him and didn't uh, understand that. He was talking about Father. Uh, he had the two witnesses, Father and uh, from above, who sent him. But uh, he, sa- he continued to speak that I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me never will walk in darkness, but will have a light of life. And uh, again, he was uh, going back to that uh, sin that we are, sin that I was. And uh, this, uh, the curses which were coming from both lines, from my mother and father, were upon me. 
And in my blindness, I didn't know that I need to uh, uh, I need to call upon him. I didn't know how to call upon him. I didn't know how to come to him. And only one day when I heard that somebody paid for my sin, sin which entered the world through the man, and death through sin. And the way death came to all men because all sinned. And there is none righteous, none, even one non righteous, because all our righteous deeds are filthy rags, as Isaiah is saying. And I would like you to uh, bring you to Romans 5, verse 13, where it says, So before law was given, sin was in the world. But sin is not taken into account when there is no law. But nevertheless, death reigned from the time of Adam to the time of Moses. Even over those who did not sin by breaking the command, as did Adam, who was a pattern of one to come. But the gift is not like a trespass, for if many died by the trespass of one man, how much more did God's grace, the gift that came by the grace of the one man, Yeshua HaMashiach, our flow to many. And that gift is still available to everybody who will call on the name of the Lord Amen. through grace, by faith. And I just uh, asking that in, uh, in the mercy of God, the, you will open your heart to the one who's still calling and knocking on your heart and call on his name in the name of his son, Yeshua, and ask to, uh, him to come in your heart, change it, take full control of your life, and uh, surrender to him, because there is no way out from the sin and curses which are on our lives.